points. Let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstat. Folks, you can check out Teddy's Tiger Forex Report every week. He puts out a new issue Monday mornings. You can check it out under the newsletter tab. Just head on over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. You hit subscribe. It's $97 a month, folks. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And one week from today, Teddy's got an outstanding webinar. It's a live webinar coming up for subscribers from 4 till 5 p.m. One week from today, April 19th. So you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report. You get a month of the newsletter. You get the live webinar coming up in a week that will be archived. If you don't like it, folks, you cancel within 30 days. You get a refund. You can't go wrong with that type of action. And Teddy Kegstad, talk about action. Love talking to you on days like today. Good morning, man. Good morning, Tommy. So where do you want to start off? Let's talk about the action this morning if we can. CPI, we got action in yields. We got action in the dollar. Market's giving back some of the gain but still up a bit. What would you think of the number and the movement in the markets this morning? Okay, well, you know, you had the CPI number that came out right when the Treasury bond market was opening, so you had an explosive reaction, obviously. Um, I mean, the number is, I guess, somewhat kind of nice, but I really think it's more of an overreaction, knee-jerk reaction to the uh, number. I don't think you really need to take too much stock in it, especially long-term. You know, uh, we have the minutes coming on later, which... To be quite honest with you, I really don't think you're going to see any change in the uh, in the ta in, this, in the minutes or anything else that we have coming out of the Fed. I mean, the reality is uh, there's a banking crisis still going on. There's a whole bunch of things that have not changed even remotely. And CPI, even though it may be somewhat kind of nice right now, it doesn't matter. People can see <laughs> if you bought gas in the last week and a half, you know that things are not going in the right direction. You know, so and I think that that's what we really have to pay attention to. Yeah, I agree. I was talking to Kevin Hinkster. He referenced energy and energy. I mean, it's it's rocking right now, man. We're at 82.60. And yeah, I don't imagine we're going to see $65 in crude anytime soon. Uh, again, doesn't mean it can't happen, man, right? But there's pressure to the upside, mm -hmm. I imagine. And we, I don't think we've seen anything. I mean, I put this chart up, Teddy, going back a year ago, man. It's just lower mm -hmm. lows and lower highs from 123. And that's not even the spike back to March because we're past that already. As in just mm -hmm. the spike we got in July. It's just been lower prices, man. Um, that does that. It just can't happen forever. The crew goes from 120 down to $60, you know, eventually. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, and I, as you said it, I hadn't even, you know, seen the move, let alone the 10-year, the 30-year, man. We just spiked to what on that news? To one. It was it was basically flat to start the the day out and exploded to was up over a handle and then it pulled back to only being up about 15 yeah. 16 ticks and now it's back up I think kind of close to like 25 ticks or something like that so Amazing. um yeah Amazing moves. And what do you think about the dollar index? Dollar index gets a pullback here. Um, mm -hmm. Held on to, to kind of that pullback. I've seen the yields reverberate a bit, but we came into that news at about 102.10. We're at about 101.70 right now. Um, we got a lot of listeners, of course, watching the dollar. We're back to approaching kind of those areas of, of January. We had a low of 100.82 I'm looking at. What do you think about the dollar index kind of price well, levels? Maybe you can give us some areas of support and resistance. I know you do a great sure. job of that within your newsletter for the dollar index. Sure. Well, if you look at the dollar index right now, it's a really tough gauge for most currencies. So if you're trading the major, uh, the majors of the majors, like the pound, the uh, Swiss and the euro, <clears throat> then you can look at that as that's where the, where the dollar index is sinking. But if you look at like the Aussie, the New Zealand and, and currencies like that, uh, they're, they're not coming off. They're, they're not banging new lows like the Swiss is really, really falling down right now, the U.S. dollar-Swiss relationship. And that's something we talked about back in December, that there's a big divergence in currencies. So where's the flight to quality? Where's the real trend? Well, the Swiss is, the U.S. dollar-Swiss is in a bear trend. and has been for a while, and it's con confirmed without a doubt today that it, that's the resolve that it has. But if you look at the British pound U.S. dollar, it's trying to make new highs, and it did make a new monthly high recently, just a couple days ago, um, but it's, it's having a lot of trouble with that area. So I would be use a lot of caution trying to use a dollar index as a gauge, because the euro and the pound especially, they have a lot of problems. You know, So if you're bullish on the European currency, versus the dollar, the Swiss is the right side to be on, without a doubt, nice. meaning short the U.S. dollar Swiss. Um, but I've used a lot of caution with the euro and the pound because their central banks are all acting in tandem right now to help us with the, what's going on in supposedly just the U.S. But we know that the banking crisis has cool. moved over to the uh, to the European banks as well. You know, so for as far as levels, I would say right now with the British pound, the key is if they can hold above this 124.40 area, that's a big deal. So basically where they're trading at today, 
if that if we settle up here and sustain a trade up here, we will probably buffer some resistance. But I would be very cautious with any rallies that you see there, you know, so I don't think they're going to be it's I don't think this is some major trend extension that's about to develop here whatsoever, you know, nice. And especially as oil starts to rally as well, because. If oil continues to rally, well, even though the the dollar is petrodollar is getting killed, it's still a valued part of the dollar um, value. So as oil does increase, it helps to slow the decreasing uh, value of the dollar as well. So when when it gets back to that dollar index things, please use caution in using that as a gauge. Right now, there's just too much divergence. I would focus more on the fact that the Swiss is a true bull. Look at the U.S. dollar yen trade. Now, obviously, on a, on the reaction of the numbers, they went in tandem, really hammering the dollar. But if you look at the pullbacks, the yen bounced back pretty strong off of its lows versus, yeah. say, the pound and the euro versus off of their highs. You know, so that once again shows that how the oil relationship also, like when it comes to the U.S. dollar yen, if oil continues to rally, even if yields drop. It doesn't matter. That cancels out that effect. So the U.S. dollar yen trade, for instance, is not going to be such a bear. I would be very cautious. I'd be more into buying dips than selling uh, selling into this uh, to that market. That would be very cautious being a bear on the U.S. dollar yen, and especially in the short run when it comes to those variables. And folks, that's the great information, man. In terms of the breakdown, you should check out the Tiger Forex report. And Teddy, if you can give the listeners. Um, just a glimpse, and you do such a great job. This is the stuff that Tay's going to talk about, folks, in the webinar a week from today in terms of how he breaks down the letter, how he breaks down the currencies, and how they go into it. Because the dollar index, Getty, Teddy, gets so much attention. But I love the education that you've given myself and the listeners over the years in terms of what factors into those, in terms of whether you talk about crude. I think we talked about that even last week as you were going over it. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give the listeners... Uh, a little glimpse, Teddy, of what you'd be talking about a week from today for the Tiger Forex Report subscribers coming up next Wednesday. Sure. Well, the, the main focus is, is looking at what are the major um, factors driving the dollar. So not the dollar index, the dollar. So when you look at the – see, people look at it as a jury generic term. They think the dollar index is what the dollar is all about. It's not the case. So we're going to do just like we spoke about. Oil, how does that reflect the dollar? So that variable we would be concentrating on the U.S. dollar yen especially. You know, Then we also have the central banking crisis, what's going on – or excuse me, the, the banking uh, crisis. How we can call it a central banking, banking crisis. That's okay. Yeah, it, no, it, is, <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is that too as well. And uh, there's two things really going on. And you can see like the way the treasury bonds are acting. It's a shell game going on right Ooh. now. And that's something I'm going to talk about a lot in that webinar is that yeah. where the media is just fanning the Fed being hawkish or, or you know, or if they're going to come off the hawkish stance and whatever. Sure. People yeah. aren't looking at what's really going on. You know, the Fed is propping up. They're printing money to prop up the, the, the treasury bond market. You know that they're buying all these assets from the banks at the losing prices that they paid before so we're going to we're going to talk about how that's going to influence the trends and the currencies moving forward folks it's an outstanding webinar it's an outstanding letter you get a 30-day money-back guarantee you're going to get an education you can't go wrong check it out right now during the break teddy i appreciate it man we'll talk to you a week from today and i look forward to that webinar a week from today as Sounds well man good. we'll talk to you next week Be a fun okay Wednesday. take care have a great one man we'll be right back for the open uh for the market folks and it's tanking stay tuned <laughs>